Well, we made it. We're in Windows 10 X emulator, which is going to be the same operating system that's being used later on in 2020 when the new dual devices come out. And the way to get to any of the programs is if you go to this bottom area, we see this hash and we see task view. And that's only after you've already opened some uh, tasks up, which we haven't done yet. And then we also have the start button. So I'm going to click on that. And then we see all of the different applications that come by default. Now, I've logged in with my Microsoft account, so you can see down here that we've got some Office documents that can be opened, although I haven't opened them yet. Uh, we have Microsoft Edge, Mail, Calendar, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's go ahead and open up the weather, for instance, just so we can see how an application launches. Now, this is on a Microsoft virtual machine, and that's one of the reasons why it took so long for me to get this going was all the different technical issues. But now that I've got it going, it seems to be working pretty well, although it's running a little bit slow, but that's probably because I'm on beta everything right now. So I'm going to show the temperature in Fahrenheit because we do that here and have it detect my locations. So I'll go ahead and tell it to do that. And then we'll go ahead and click Start. And we can see, yes, that is accurate. It is about 44 degrees. And it looks very much like the app that we see on Android. I'm going to minimize that just so we can see what the task view looks like after we open another application. And now I'm going to click on the Start button again. And this time I'm going to open up the web browser. I think a lot of people would like to see that. So we'll look at Microsoft Edge. And I've typed in puppies as a search. A lot of people like puppies. Um, so we can see I'm in a Google search right now. And we can scroll and take a look at all the different puppy options. Let's play a video in here. I'm sure a lot of people would like to see that. I'll just go to my YouTube channel so I don't have to worry about any copyright issues. And we're now playing a video. Many people are really worried about their online devices. Such and, as the and here we see a video running. Unfortunately, I was not able to skip the ad. So for some reason, clicking on the inside doesn't give me that ability. And neither does clicking on full screen. doesn't seem to take me anywhere. However, the video is running and we know that sound is working. So that is working okay. So I just switched back over to a Google page because it was just taking too long to stop the video. And we'll choose the calculator. So here's our calculator, 9 times 9. Has a little bit of a delay because of the virtual machine and the beta software. And we did 9 times 99. Okay. So now let's take a look in this right-hand side. We see single point touch and multi-point touch, which is really interesting. So if I choose the single point touch, then I can just hold my mouse down and I can scroll up and down. And same thing over on the calculator side. I also have this pen input I could put in here. I'm just going to open up a different application. Let's try stickies. And I can draw. Not very well. And, of course, something just popped up over it. So our sticky notes work using our pen input. We can also do something interesting here where you can rotate left. We can rotate to the right until you get back to the way you want. And if we want to close an app, we can do that. And then our task view shows our two applications. And we can click on those, and we can change screens that way as well. So that just gives you a first look at the Windows 10X emulator. It's a little bit slow and buggy at this point, but that's partially because I'm on a virtual machine. If you're on a physical host, it may not be as difficult. You've got to be on at least the 19.5 um, release version of Windows, which is very difficult to find because the Windows update, even for the fast track, was not working for me. So I had to find the ISO from a third-party site, which of course was a bit of a virus risk, but it turned out okay for me. And I had to enable virtualization extensions in order to get Hypervisor, Hyper-V, installed on this uh, virtual machine, which is running on a Windows 10 host. And that's because I didn't want to put a beta version of Windows onto my physical computer. And then after that, I went into the Windows Store and I downloaded the emulator. Just type in emulator and it's Microsoft Emulator App. 
And then after that, I had to install, just type in 10x on the Windows Store, I had to install the 10x emulator image. Once all that was installed, I was able to launch my 10x emulator and get 10x to actually come up. So hopefully that was a help to you as you take a look and see if you can install this on your computer. And I'm going to do some additional videos on some of the applications and some of the tools that come with this product.